Hey everyone, Kirk here again at Option Alpha. So I wanted to answer this question because we get it a lot and that is how do you turn off one of your scanners so that the other monitor automations or other automations in your bot keep running but you just want to turn off one. So this could work for any automation that you just want to single-handedly have control to disable or turn off temporarily but you want to have the ability to turn it back on without turning off the whole bot. So right here inside of your platform, of course, if you wanna turn off all automations and remove or stop all automations from running, you simply just toggle this switch right here at the top of your bot. Really simple to do. You can toggle on automations, you can toggle them off. And that basically is a blanket turn all on or all off automations. So if we did in this example, turn off automations, which I can do here, you can see that both of my automations here will now be turned off. So my scanner, my monitor will be turned off. Any exit options will still run for individual positions because they're still attached to those positions, but the actual automations that I'm running will be off. So, but if I want to turn on the whole bot and I just single-handedly want to like, for example, turn off my scanner automation and leave everything else on or turn off my monitor automation and leave everything else on, there's a really simple way you can do it while keeping the automation inside of the bot. And all you're going to do is you're going to add a switch to the top of that bot decision logic. So I'm going to go in here and do it here so you can see how to do it. Just simply open up your scanner automation or your monitor, whatever one you want. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to put our switch decision right at the top. So literally at the top of everything that you have, you're going to put that switch right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just click the three little dots here, say proceed with. I'm going to go to the action for a decision. And then I'm going to go down to this grouping for general down here. And then I'm going to go to switch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create essentially a bot switch and I'm gonna put that inside of the actual monitor and then I can move that bot switch to the top level as a bot input if I want to as well. So I'm gonna click on switch. I'm gonna select a switch. Now I don't have any switches created, so I'm gonna add an input for a switch. I'm gonna call this one turn off scanner, or whatever you wanna call it. The default value will be off. That means when I add it for the first time, it will be off. Um, you could call it like turn off or let's call it disable. Let's call it disable scanner. And you can give it a short description if you want to, but essentially whenever you turn this thing on, then it would disable the bot from scanning. So I could say something like, if switch is turned on, then the bot will not continue running the scanner. Now, technically it'll still run the scanner, but it'll hit that switch every single time and it'll encounter that switch and it'll see if the switch is off and then it will uh, stop it from continuing forward. So we're gonna go ahead here and save this. This is gonna uh, create this switch. And then what we wanna do is we wanna say when the switch is turned off, okay, when the switch is turned off, then we wanna continue down the yes path. So if that switch, if the disabled switch is off or however you wanna classify it for yourselves, if that disabled switch is turned off, and continue down the yes path, which means don't disable anything, keep trading, okay? If you wanna say it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and save, we're gonna go and we're gonna proceed this as down the yes path. So if you think about it, and it actually writes it out here pretty nicely, if the disabled scanner is off, if that switch is turned off, and the answer to that question is yes, then you wanna go and continue down the yes path, which is go ahead and do all the things that you wanted to do anyway like loop your tickers, check your IV range, pass all your opportunity filters, blah, blah, blah. But if that disabled switch is turned off or turned on, and that disabled switch is turned on, which is here, if that was on, and the answer to that question is no, it's not off, it's on, it will go all the way down here to the no path and it will take no action whatsoever. So that's really helpful because at the end of the day, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to not take any action if that switch is turned on, okay? So once we do this, we're gonna go ahead and save, and then we can go into the settings for this scanner automation. And you can see here that there's now a new switch at the bottom, you can reorder these if you want to, that just says disable scanner. So if I click this switch and turn this thing on and disable the scanner, and then go ahead and save, the automations for the whole bot are on, and our whole bot will all still work. But when it encounters this switch, it will see that that switch is actually turned on and then it will stop scanning and stop the continuous activities. So 
you can add this type of switch to any of the bots that you're running, any automation that you run. And again, if you use shared automations like this one, which is shared in my library, among other different bots, then that switch is now available for all of the other automations too. And you can go into that particular bot and, and then individually turn off any of your automations. So if I go here, you can see, I can just go down here and just simply toggle it off or toggle it on. It really doesn't matter. Now, super quick thing that you can do is if you really like this, but you don't wanna jump into the actual automation settings to make this adjustment, go ahead and move this automation to the bot level. Now you can see in this particular bot here, I have no bot inputs. There's nothing that I've moved to the bot level, which means I can control it from the dashboard here. If you wanna do that, you can do that really easily. Just go ahead and click this little gear or this icon for linking it, add a bot input. It pulls in all of the same information that you have. So you can basically turn it on or turn it off from there and then go ahead and save. And now that has created a bot input. And when I save that, now you can see that that bot input is right here. So if you wanna change any of the settings in your entire bot, you can go from one simple place here, just go ahead and disable scanning, say that it's on, is disabled, or is the scanner disabled? Yes, it's on, so now I know. If I wanna go in here and re-enable it, I just turn this switch off, bing, bang, boom, the whole, you know, the whole thing, you can just go back and forth and play with it as much as you want, okay? So that's how you do it. You can do that inside of any monitors you want, any scanners, you can pick and choose. Um, it's up to you, but it's an easy way to do it without having to delete the automation and then re-add it back with all of your settings. Just simply add a switch to the top of your automation, turn the switch on and off, depending on how you wanna use it, and you're all set to go. So hopefully this video was super helpful. If you liked it, let me know. If you have other questions, let us know so we can get those videos out for you guys and help you out. Until next time, happy trading.